All right, what I want you to do is make a tight seal around this and blow outwards like you're blowing up a balloon, okay? Cool. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay, you can relax. Um, so I'm going to read you Miranda, okay? When's the, right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you before any question, okay? Yes, sir. When's the last time you smoked weed? I do not remember that. Tonight? Who? Oh. Okay, well, I, was, no I, weed tonight, I think right? it's tonight. I've had no weed tonight. What? Why do you think it's tonight? Why do you think I smoke? I blew zero, so now you're trying to think I smoke weed. That's what's going on. You can't do that, man. You really can't do Absolutely that. Absolutely, I can. Is he allowed to do that? Yes, he is. A legal dispute is currently underway involving an Iowa teenager who took to social media to present evidence of his wrongful arrest by Newton Police Department located in Iowa. The teenager, who is originally from Newton, Iowa, shared body cam footage on YouTube and Facebook which depicts a traffic stop conducted by Newton police officers in August of 2022. The footage clearly shows that the young man had done no wrong. On the night of August 28, 2022, shortly after midnight, the young man was pulled over by officers Nathan Winters and Lieutenant Chris Wing of the Newton Police Department. They had stopped him for using his high beam headlights while he was on his way home from spending time with a friend. At the outset, Officer Winters asserted that the 19-year-old was fumbling when attempting to provide proof of registration, which raised suspicion of possible alcohol consumption. It's worth noting that in my years of experience in law enforcement, I have never encountered a situation where a driver's inability to quickly produce their registration led to suspicions of alcohol consumption. Additionally, Officer Winters claimed to have detected the odor of alcohol emitting from the driver, along with signs of impairment such as slurred speech and bloodshot watery eyes. However, none of these observations were substantiated by the body cam footage. Hi there. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. My name is Officer Winters with the Newton Police Department. The reason I pulled you over is because you have your bright lights on. Yeah, but I have a headlight out, so I just keep my brights on. Okay, well that's not legal. Oh, it isn't? No. Yeah, I turn on when a car, when a car comes by, I turn them off, but like... Well, you didn't with me. You were like, you were, you're a while, yeah, you were a while back. It has to be within 500 feet. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. And you're not that. supposed to have your brights on in the city limits. My fault, my fault. You got your license registration insurance yeah, with you? Yeah, I got you. Is this your car? Yeah. Okay. Where are you headed? Back home. Where are you coming from? Prince House. Okay. Anything to drink over there? Nope. Need one of these right here? Yeah, I mean, that's a good start. That's the registration. You got your insurance? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Would it be that white card? Uh, it could be. That's one that expired in 21. I got the email version. All right, that'll work. I'm gonna have you hop out with me, okay? Cool. We're gonna go back here, okay? Cool. You don't have anything on you? No bombs, guns, drugs? No bombs or no drugs. Okay, let's go back here. I'm gonna have you have a seat in my passenger seat, okay? Awesome. Where are you coming from? Back by, uh, his name is Creighton. It's a friend's house. Okay. What are you doing at Creighton's house? We were just hanging out. Just get back from college. Okay. Go to William Penn. Okay. Play football up there? Yes, sir. How much have you had to drink tonight? None. What do you mean none? I had nothing to drink. Okay. Why would you? Uh, why would your eyes be watery and bloodshot? Hmm. Huh? You want to blow me real quick? I don't want to blow you. Pause. I got contacts. I've had nothing to drink. Okay. So your movements in the car, with you fumbling over the registration, kind of say otherwise. And so does the odor of alcohol coming from your person. Great, let's, let's do a test then. So Officer Winters thinks I'm drinking tonight. We're about to do a test and he's going to find out I had nothing to drink. He's going to look stupid. Alright, so I want you to put your left foot on the line. Okay? Take your right foot, put it in front of your left foot with the heel of your right foot touching the toe of your left foot just like this. Okay? So from this position, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps, touching heel to toe each time, keeping your arms down to your side. Okay? Turn by taking a series of small steps. Turn and take nine heel to toe steps Wait, back. One, back around? two, Three, just like I did. Any problems with your ankles, knees, hips, or back? Just my right ankle. What's wrong with your right ankle? It messes up your football. Okay, does it prevent you from walking? Just a little bit, but I'll be able to do this. Okay, does it hurt right now? Nope. Okay. I have all my weight in my left foot right now. All right, how many steps did I say to take? Like eight or nine. I said nine. Why'd you take 14 and then 15? Uh, take a series of small steps. Stops walking, 13 steps. Improper turn. Do you have any questions? Nope. All right, during this, keep your arms down to your side. Why are you shaking so much? It's freezing, man. Look at you. You got all these clothes on, and I got it. shorts on, and it's raining. Oh, we the blow, let's blow real chest. quick. Stop doing all these damn tests. Let's blow. 
Let's get to business. If you pay close attention, you will notice that the officer inquired with his lieutenant about whether 15 minutes had passed. The reason behind this inquiry is that law enforcement officers are required to monitor the driver for a minimum of 15 minutes to ensure the accuracy of the PBT, preliminary breath test. The PBT is a roadside chemical test designed to measure a person's blood alcohol content, commonly recognized as a breathalyzer. However, a breathalyzer is conducted using a larger, more reliable machine. PBT laws authorize police officers to administer this test before making an arrest to assess if there is sufficient evidence for a DUI. It's essential to note that these tests can yield false positives if an individual has recently used a substance like a mouthwash or a breath spray, as some of these products contain alcohol. It's not surprising that if someone has recently used a mouthwash with a high alcohol content, the breath test may detect residual traces of alcohol. Let's go to the front of the car here. Let's do this low. Zero, zero. Wait for it. Hey, why are you skimming? No, because you're showing some very strong signs of impairment. Am I? I can assure you, as a former police officer, as a field training officer, and as an officer who was certified to conduct field sobriety tests, that there were no indications that this driver was impaired at all. But if you think this driver being arrested is the worst part of this video, you have another shot coming. You must watch to the end. Let's get back to the video. All right, what I want you to do is make a tight seal around this and blow outwards like you're blowing up a balloon, okay? Cool. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay, you can relax. Um, so I'm going to read you Miranda, okay? When's the, right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you before any question, okay? Yes, sir. When's the last time you smoked weed? I do not remember that. Tonight? Who? Oh. Okay, well, I, was, no I, tonight, I think right? it's tonight. I've had no weed tonight. What? Why do you think it's tonight? Why do you think I smoke? I blew zero, so now you're trying to think I smoke weed. That's what's going on. You can't do that, man. You really can't do Absolutely that. Absolutely, I can. Is he allowed to do that? Yes, he is. Very so good. I blow zero, and so you suspect drugs, man. Okay. Why is your field? Why is your field sobriety so poor? What? Why is your field sobriety so poor? And why are you so lethargic and slow moving and speaking with a slurred speech? And, and your eyes are watery, speech. and your eyes are bloodshot. You know why they're watery? Probably because we're in rain right now, dumbass. Uh, it doesn't affect them in the car, or in my car. Well, I don't know what you're seeing, because I can't even see my eyes. I blew zero, so now you can't be on drugs right now. Okay. So, um, I spoke with the drug recognition expert, and he said that he's willing to do a uh, drug influence evaluation on you. Um, we would have to go up to the PD. Right now? Yep. I don't want to do that right now. You don't want to do it right now? Uh, Why not? Because you have me out in this damn rain. For we would go to the PD where it's Well, dry. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that now. I want to go home. You okay. Wasted, you wasted my time. Turn Wait. Turn around for two back. Right now you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? I'm not intoxicated. So my name is Drew. Uh, we're here at the police department. All right, so it sounds like... You got traffic stopped. Yep. So here's where I come in, right? Yep. Um, I have different certifications in officer winners. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm called a, I have a drug recognition expert um, certification. Yes, sir. Um, so my training, um, it does involve field sobriety. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to ask you to do some of the stuff you've already done. The official purpose of roadside field sobriety tests or FSTs is to evaluate DUI suspects impairment, both physically and mentally. A suspect impaired by alcohol often will have difficulty multitasking as such tests require. Cues or clues that officers are looking for during the walk and turn test are the driver can't keep his or her balance during instructions. They start too soon. He or she stops walking. The driver misses heel to toe, steps off the line. He or she uses their arms for balance, improper turn or incorrect number of steps. And the clues for the one leg stand test are the suspect sways while balancing. The suspect moves their arms six or more inches from the side of the body in order to keep their balance, hopping or putting their foot down. If an individual shows two or more clues or fails to complete the one leg stand, there is a good chance they are impaired. In this video, this driver completed every task perfectly. Test conditions must meet the following reasonably dry, hard level and non slippery surface. As we witness, it was a wet, uneven, unbalanced surface. 
Bottom line up front, uh, we're going home tonight, okay? I don't think you're, I have no evidence or no information to suggest that you're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Right now you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? I have no evidence or no information to suggest that you're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Okay, so I told you that you had to wait until the end of the video to find out what was so surprising about this video. Check this out. I'm going to read this. So the team that was falsely arrested in this video filed a lawsuit. But in response to the teenager's lawsuit, the Newton Police Department filed a lawsuit against the teenager. It was a response and they stated due to his comments and the body cam footage being posted, Winters, who is the officer, Wing, who is the lieutenant, are now part of a defamation counterclaim to the teen's initial federal lawsuit. So they are countersuing the teen for posting the body cam footage online. Furthermore, the city claimed that Winters and Wing, the officer and the lieutenant, have suffered and will continue to suffer mental anguish, loss of enjoyment of life, loss of community reputation, and loss of employability. If that is not surprising enough, you falsely arrest the teen. You make something out of nothing. This teen was nowhere near being intoxicated, nor was he under the influence of any drug. You falsely arrest him, but then you are going to counter sue because he put the false arrest, the body cam footage online. Cops suing the victim for telling their story. This story is a must follow, and I definitely will keep you guys updated on this one. With that being said, always know your rights, always record the police. We the People University, signing off.